Lindsay here. Today I wanted to share everything I got um, in the past month or so from Amazon, from the thrift store, from other places. So let's start with that crochet hook. It's a, it's, um, a wooden crochet hook and it's a little bit on the budget size and it I liked it a lot. I, I already opened it and I tried it because I wanted to see how it works in um, it's very pointy. That's what I learned. It is uh, sharp and pointy. And if your finger is too close when you crochet, uh, this will, will scratch your uh, finger a bit, which is not painful, but uh, something um, other crochet hooks don't do that. But it, it slides so well under and over my stitches. I love working with it. It's um, it's quite ergonomic. It's big on my hands, and I like that shape. Um, it, this is not resin covered, just wood. And I, with um, the more you use it, it gets better over time. That's what I see um, starts happening. All right, so let's go to the next thing. So I got those uh, Yarnies crochet hooks, and I was a little bit disappointed in that cover. The crochet hooks were fine. But that uh, case, I had to go and improve it. I just couldn't stand. Um, there is a hole on the bottom here where the crochet hooks go. And they will just slide from there, especially the smaller ones. They will just come off from the top because it does not close very well. And it was just a disaster. So I got my uh, glue gun and I added a piece of felt on top and it's really easy to take in and out my crochet hooks now. And I put a piece on the bottom and with a Sharpie, I wrote the numbers of my um, crochet hooks. So now it's really easy to pick something and um, to just start in crochet. The hooks are okay. They, they just go nicely. They are comfortable on my hand. They're, they have quite a long shaft. So um, I tend to use my thumb to control my stitches. So I have to go a little bit higher. But if I avoid controlling my stitches here and holding them, I crochet much faster and I can go in and out much faster. So it, um, it definitely, I'll grab a hook when I want to uh, change my grip or my... Or even I keep them next to, to my recliner and I always have a set ready for me to go if I for, forget my crochet hook somewhere. There are a good range of numbers though. These are the numbers I use after four. These are the most frequent numbers I'll go for. So this is this and it comes uh, with some needles and stitch markers which is really nice. I haven't used them because I have a lot of those things, but it's nice to have them. Oh, and I always put here uh, a file because that's something I need for my nails. And that is a very comfortable uh, pocket for, for that uh, file since it does not touch the wooden part here of my crochet hooks. So this is just a perfect added bonus. I will recommend it to the company to add that and please take care of this thing. If you can improve your design, uh, feel free to get my idea and improve your case. <laughs> but it's it's a nice set. And I'm thinking of getting a set like this for my mom as well. So she can have a full one. The next thing I got from Amazon again. So these are all from Amazon, those um, first few things are some bottoms for making bags and I'll they're oval and they're not very big but they're not very small so they're about uh, nine and a half inches a little bit more than nine and a half yeah nine if you measure from hole to hole here and um, I was thinking that when I crochet up the part it's gonna expand a little bit so that um, size of a bottom should be okay so they came two in a set it was cheaper to buy two than buying one so I um, they came with one black and one um, beige brownish color 
which will be a great thing because they also have tiny little feet so when you sit sit your bag it will they will not gonna touch the ground or they'll have a little space all right so that's i've been thinking a lot Next thing I got is Yarn Art Flowers Alpaca Yarn. It's from Amazon. I just love those colors. And um, that baggie was quite like squished and it popped quite easily. But it's so, so soft. That alpaca. Oh my gosh. This will become a, such a nice wrap. That's what I'm planning to do with it. Um, it's, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy so so soft it's it's a pillow i mean you can just put it like this and you have a pillow ready oh my oh gosh i love it it's um it's very 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 soft this is a it's um 20 alpaca 80 percent acrylic uh, blend 250 grams or about 8.8 .8 ounces, 940 meters, about 1,027 yards, which I think will be enough for a, quite a big wrap. Oh, here are some recommendations. Hand wash, dry flat, and do not bleach. It's a um, fine two-weight yarn, and um, that's how it is. I have four weight next to me. So if we compare them, that's what's the difference. But it, because it's fluffy, I think I can go with a size bigger crochet hook here. The recommended knitting needles are 3.5 millimeters or US4, and the crochet hook is 3.5 millimeters or E4 um, crochet hook. And uh, for a shawl, I think here, that's what they mean, for a 90 centimeters shawl or about a yard, um, one ball is enough, about 250 grams. For a sweater, however, you need two of them. You need 500 grams. Um, and uh, yep, here you can, you can iron it on a very low. It's uh, made in Turkey. And the color is 432. So that's, that's the, the label. And this is my next on my list. This will show really, really well. Look at this red here. How pretty is that? It's just beautiful and it's so soft. I just wanna squeeze it and, uh, oh boy, I just wanna squeeze it. It's so, so soft. Okay. All right. Cannot wait to start crocheting. So the next thing I got are rest, wrist wraps. So um, they are, I thought these are crochet related things because I do get pain in my wrists and thumb. So this is one that I use, I started using recently and I can control here and adjust the tightness. And I've had also different type of thumbs or carpal tunnel sleeves and whatnot, gloves, but I wanted to try this one and I did not like it much, but that's how it goes. You put your thumb through and then you wrap it. Of course, you don't have to put that one under and you wrap it like this. Oops, the other way around. Oh, let's see. And I still haven't got the hang of this one. I didn't like it much, but that's how it is. Um, I guess it's much easier to crochet. That's what I thought because I can make it tight or loose. But I had one that has a little pillow here and it can, I cannot move my fingers much. Um, so I still have to try this a little bit more, but this one I like. And because I, when I wash my hands, I don't have to remove it. That's what I liked about this one. All right, next thing. 
Oh, and those wrist wraps, they come in a set of two. So they come for both hands. All right, so the next thing is I went to five below and uh, I got those little tin boxes, which will make uh, some kind of crochet thing. I don't know. I had one little um, video when I made a tiny little mouse that lives in a little tiny house, tin house. And I thought this will be so cute for something like this. Um, I made a house, maybe I can make it into a little van or camper to go with it. So that's I got for little projects. I also got a cosmetic bag from Five Below. It's a little one, uh, nine by five. And it says, uh, I would stop buying makeup, but I'm not a quitter. So I'm gonna cross out makeup and I'll put yarn here with a Sharpie. That's what I thought I'll do. And it's a quite, uh, Quite well, an interesting thing. So I put my little things, some things I'm not using quite often, and um, I think it's very, it's very comfortable to have my things and to carry it around uh, upstairs or downstairs in the house for five dollars in five below. I think it, it's a great deal. Next stop was at the thrift store. So you may not believe it. What the, what I found in the thrift store? I found hero crochet hooks. For $1.50 each, I found two, and I got them. Um, I was not aware of those crochet hooks till I heard them in the Bag of Day um, channel that she these are her favorite crochet hooks. And then I googled them on eBay, and it turns out they go for $70 because they're um, antiques now, or they don't make them anymore. So it was so, so cool. And I got this also this case from the thrift store. It was empty, but for a dollar just for the case. And I got my crochet hooks inside all lined up. So I thought this was a good, great deal. And I can care. I made another set that I have uh, next to my bedside. And I also have crochet hooks when I need them there. So these will go here as well. And there, that's that was a great find at, in the thrift store. And I think that's all that I got. Oh no, I got one more thing that I'm gonna use for props when taking videos and pictures. These are, look at those wedges. Are they cute with those polka dots? I just love them. So I'll put links on everything that I got from Amazon. And I'll appreciate if you use those affiliate links, but those shoes I just couldn't resist. They're just too cute. They're not comfortable, uh, at least not on my feet, but the wedge definitely makes it um, an easy walk, I would say, for those people that are used to wearing high heels. This will not be a problem, uh, but for me, they're just picture props, and I'll use them for videos and pictures, but I just, they're just the cutest, just the cutest. All right, I hope you enjoyed this quick little haul. Watch the next video on the list. Have a happy crafting time and I'll catch you in the next one. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel and see you soon.